There's such a vast selection of cots available for your baby, so how do you choose the one that suits you? OK, there's a few choices you can go for. Probably the best choice is um, a little Moses basket, um, which you can, you can literally have upstairs, but you can also take downstairs. You can take it to someone's house. Um, you can use that for, say, for the first three months. Um, some babies don't sleep in them, so you do need a cot alongside that, really, or a cot bed. Um, it's also handy to actually put the Moses basket into the, the cot or the cot bed after, say, the first two months. So the last month, the baby can get used to the surrounding. Um, it's, it's quite useful. If you wanted something a little bit larger, that you wanted to last a little bit longer than the Moses basket, but didn't want to use a cot straight away, there's these alternatives. They can be in all different shapes and sizes. You've got wooden cribs, swinging cribs, or fabric cribs like this, um, which would last around about six months plus. Uh, the wooden cribs are a little bit less time, um, because obviously when the baby starts moving, um, you can't keep the crib still. So really, I mean, this is the best alternative from the Moses basket. They're, they're beautiful and they fold up as well, so for storage-wise, they're quite handy as well. If you wanted to go straight into a cot or cot bed, again, there's so much choice out there. Um, you can, four different, five different sizes of cots, cot beds. Um, you, you've got the smallest cot, obviously, if you haven't got a lot of room. Still, time-wise, they, they still last in there from about 15 months to two years. Cot beds really, they last around about five to six years. Once you finish through it as a cot, then you can actually take all the sides off and the ends off, and it ends up being a junior bed for about five to six years. A lot of people do go for cot beds now because they are a little bit bigger um, and they do last a little bit longer. Price-wise now, they, they really are very, very similar to, to cots. They used to be a lot more expensive, but they're not now, unless you actually, it depends on which brand you go for, but. There are brands out there that are very similar in price to cots. You can also get bedside cots, so the rail comes off and you can actually have it right up to the bed, right next to you. So if you are obviously breastfeeding and the baby's, breast, the baby's breastfeeding constantly, so the baby can be right next to you, so you haven't got to keep getting out of bed. Um, that's a really good idea, but they do tend to be quite big and also you do need this side, this space on the side of your bed as well. It really is uh, style and choice really, there's so many different shapes and colourings and so all you really need to look at is have you got the size for a cot bed, if you haven't then you will need to go down to a cot, there are four different sizes in cots. For bedding, that's changed a lot now. What we recommend is um, a few fitted sheets for the bedding, so probably three or four you will need. Also. What's actually quite useful is a cellular blanket rather than a fleece blanket. If the, again, if the baby pulls it over their the head, um, they can actually still breathe through that. Um, they're really useful. You can also use them in the prams as well. So you'll probably start off with probably about three of those as well. Ports and bumpers really are not being used as much now. Um, they're saying that you can't really use a quilt and bumper until the baby's about six months to a year old. Um, the TOG rating is is very lightweight, but what the baby tends to do when they get to about six months, they start kicking the quilt off, and also the, the bumpers can be quite dangerous if they're not fitted properly. So a lot of people, and especially ourselves, we say, look, take these off, don't start with these. There's a new thing out, it's been out for about three years now. It's like a little sleeping bag, and um, there's a couple of different TOG ratings. Uh, you've got the summer, summer lightweight, and then you've got the winter TOG, two and a half. You can use these right up until the, the, the child's um, 36 months. Really handy because one of the main things is that they don't get cold at night time because their legs are they're all sealed in. And then really you can go from there and it's really personal choice in, in the style that you want and obviously the price reflects on that as well.